Arabic calligraphy began with the advent of Islam and the existence of the Qur'an. As for the Arabic language, it belongs to the family of Semitic languages. It existed before the coming of Islam. The origin of written Arabic can be traced to the northern Arabian Peninsula. It was used in the 5th century among the tribes living in the north of Arabia on the borders of Iraq in Hira and was also used in Anbar in central Iraq. By the late 5th and early 6th century, the Arabic script reached the Hejaz in the western part of Arabia. With the advent of Islam and the revelation of the Qur'an in the purest form of Arabic, the language became immortalized. It has had a tremendous impact on world history, and within a few centuries, the Qur'an inspired most of the civilizations it had touched. The Muslim Arabs carried their faith and language with them wherever they went, and the people who came in contact with them generally adopted both. This was the case with the Persians, the Turks and the peoples throughout Asia, many of whom became fluent in the Arabic language. Arabic became a universal international language. This led to an increasing demand and a growing need for the reproduction of the Qur'an. For 15 centuries, the Qur'an has been copied. It came in different sizes and shapes. What is so magnificently beautiful about the Qur'an is that it's the most reproduced, yet unaltered book in the world. Just imagine how many copies have been made since the Qur'an was first compiled and written down. Yet the text of the Qur'an today is miraculously the same as the original revealed over 1,400 years ago. One of the first forms of the written Arabic language is known as the Hayri script. It took its name from Hira in the north of Arabia and was used in Kufa in Iraq. Kufa at that time was a center of enlightenment and learning. The early Kufic script developed from Hayri. It was identifiable by its letters which were angular, geometrical in form. The Kufic script is considered the basis of most present Arabic scripts. As the years passed, the Arabic script evolved. Many artisans, calligraphers and scribes sought to improve the writing forms. By the second half of the 8th century, Kufic was perfected and became the script of the Qur'an for more than three centuries to follow.
due to the Islamic injunction against depiction of humans and animals, the word, and not the image, was used in its art forms. The Muslim world abounds with beautiful calligraphic forms on documents, doorways, minarets, and objects. The Arabic alphabet has 28 letters. Its oldest form of aesthetically developed script is Kufic. The Kufic script is extremely versatile. It can come in a very dense form with the letters or the words compacted to a knot or drawn out to great length. They can be angular or curving, small or large. With an almost endless range of possibilities, the ancient calligrapher made use of his talent to introduce to the readers new Kufic variations. Most of the copies of the Qur'an, which were produced during the Abbasid rule in the 9th century, were written in Kufic script on natural, blue, violet or red parchment. The Abbasids are the second Islamic dynasty following the death of the Prophet Muhammad. The Kufic script on these beautiful and early Abbasid Qurans was thick and rounded with short verticals and exaggerated horizontals. The words were written in black or gold ink. This style of Kufic script was mainly used in Egypt, Syria and Mesopotamia during the 9th and the 10th centuries. The Kufic became less frequently used in Qur'ans of the 11th century. Its use was restricted to chapter headings. Meanwhile, the Neskhi, a cursive script with elongated letters, was much used by scribes in government and academic service. The new script developed in each region according to local taste. Calligraphers of the Qur'an gradually adopted this style. In Islamic civilization, the art of calligraphy was venerated as a sacred trust for it's an art that preserves the actual words of God. Once written on paper, the verses of the Holy Qur'an become documented, 
unaltered, preserved for future generations. With the elevated status of calligraphy as a sacred trust from God, the instruments of writing were given special attention. First, parchment and papyrus were the main materials used for copying the Quran and other manuscripts and correspondence. Although parchment was durable, lustrous and luxurious, there was a drawback only one side could be used. Papyrus had its defects too. It was brittle and could not be erased, which made it useful especially for government records. Both were expensive. The breakthrough took place when the Chinese introduced paper to the Arabs in the 9th century. This was a turning point it was inevitable for the art of calligraphy to go through some dramatic changes. Paper became abundant and the essential material for writing became cheap and readily available. Paper was versatile. It was easily cut, shaped and pasted and it absorbed color better than either parchment or papyrus. It was on paper that nearly all inventions and changes in the Arabic script took place. Many of these artistic innovations were then reflected in the calligraphic decoration of marble, brickwork, glass, textiles, ceramics, woodwork and metal. Another tremendously valued calligraphic tool was the qalam or reed pen. It became a valuable trading commodity throughout the Islamic world. The most sought after reeds came from the coastal lands of the Arabian Gulf. The reeds varied in length between 24 and 30 centimeters. Their diameter generally measured 100 millimeters. Each style of script required a different qalam, cut at a specific angle. Inks were of various types and colors. Black and dark brown inks were used most often. One of the most famous calligraphers in Islam was Abu Ali ibn Muqla. His contribution to calligraphy was of utmost importance. It was Abu Ali ibn Muqla who regulated script according to geometrical principles, establishing a unit of measurement for letters and creating a balance among them. As Arabic calligraphy evolved through time, six cursive scripts became most well known. They are referred to as Al-Aqlam As-Sitta, the six pens or calligraphy styles. All are subject to strict calligraphic rules. These styles are Muhaqqaq, with its rounded letters mainly used for Qur'ans. Raihani, an elegant development from Naskhi, often used for writing Qur'ans and occasionally for decorating objects. Thuluth, a large cursive script generally used for monumental inscriptions. A hasty scribbling of memos, but never for decorative purposes. The formal chancery script, Tawqiya, and Naskhi. Closely linked to the core of religion, Quran calligraphy developed into a sublime art form. The text, 
has been beautifully illuminated throughout the ages in different styles and forms. It can be said that it was only after the revelation of the Quran that Arabic calligraphy developed into a major art form. It is considered the purest of all Islamic arts. languages. It existed before the coming of Islam. The origin of written Arabic can be traced to the northern Arabian Peninsula. It was used in the 5th century among the tribes living in the north of Arabia on the borders of Iraq in Hira and was also used in Anbar in central Iraq. Arabic calligraphy began with the advent of Islam and the existence of the Qur'an. As for the Arabic language, it belongs to the family of Sim <laughs> By the late 5th and early 6th century, the Arabic script reached the Hejaz in the western part of Arabia. With the advent of Islam... <laughs> 